Now to our live team coverage along the Gulf Coast. Channel 2's Robert Arnold, the only Houston reporter covering Sally as that storm nears landfall. Robert is live in Alabama port. Robert, already starting to see some wind and rain we can see. Yes, the communities that are close to the shore of Mobile Bay have been getting lashed by these winds since mid-morning. The winds have only become increasingly stronger. The bigger threat, though, as you've been listening to Frank, is going to be the storm surge. These waves have only gotten more intense throughout the day, and they are already working to loosen smaller piers, smaller structures. This was a brand new pier. You can tell it was just built, and already a large part of it has been dismantled by the winds and the waves that have been hitting this shore again, as I say, since late morning. But that storm surge is what has most in this area concerned, as Sally is expected to inundate much of Alabama's coastline. No, we're going. Where are you going to go? Oh, uh, we have a place about 65 miles north of here. Like many, Rachel Johnston is not taking any chances, especially since Sally's winds and surge started lashing the western shores of Mobile Bay by mid morning. Conditions Johnston is not used to. Nothing this bad. We've had a few tropical storms, but that's been about it. The clock hadn't even struck noon, and roads along coastal Alabama were already quickly becoming impacted. It's not just the surge. Debris is also starting to be pushed ashore. Weaker, smaller structures are being knocked loose and starting to threaten the homes in this area. The water and debris also made the road to Dolphin Island too risky to cross. Storm surge and heavy rains are expected to inundate much of Alabama's coast. Going to cut the power, you know, before the storm hits anyway. So you've got to be prepared a few days to be without electricity. On the eastern shore in Fairhope, conditions are a little lighter, but residents are prepared nonetheless. We got we got our house boarded up and stuff. Like so, I think I think we're good. Road crews are already blocking passages south to low-lying areas. Businesses up and down the coast are closed, and downtown Mobile is a ghost town. Sandbags have been put in front of businesses, and lighter structures tightened down. Officials in Mobile County have opened two last resort shelters. They've been spending much of the day urging people to evacuate the area. They say they did not want to open those shelters, but they understood that they needed something for those who did decide to stay and later understand that maybe where they are living has become too dangerous. They wanted to make sure there was some refuge for those individuals. One of those is going to be a shelter. Another one is going to be one specifically for those with medical needs. Reporting live from Alabama Port, Robert Arnold, KBRC, Channel 2 News.